Welcome to Pedals and Stuff. So today we're going to look at powering the Line 6 HX Stomp using the Quilter Interblock 45 to power my traditional 212 guitar cabinet and at the same time take a feed from the HX Stomp direct to the DAW so we can record that too. Now the reason for doing this is that when you're playing live you might want to use your traditional guitar cabinet for your monitoring and your sound but blend that with your front of house PA sound. And that's a brilliant thing to be able to do, it shows how flexible the HX Stomp is. Now the only thing it's missing of course is the amplifier and that's why we're using the Quilter Interblock 45 to actually power the speaker. So it makes a really powerful combination just with the HX Stomp and the Quilter 45 because it'll fit on a pedal board this big and that's all we need to go and gig with. An amazingly powerful and flexible setup. So what a great sound and we know that we can get a great tone through our 212 cab or whatever cab you're using and we know that we can get a great sound front of house as well because to me they sound quite similar but even better when blended together because we get that extra dimension. Let's take a look at how we actually do it. Okay so the physical connections we've got power in, we've got the editor in from the computer, that's the USB cable there, we've got a line direct out to my DAW, we've got the guitar in here and then interestingly this is the send out which is going to the Quilter Interblock 45 which is amping up my signal and providing the power for my 212 cab. And that's it. Okay now on to the editor, so first of all props to Tone Junkies because they are awesome, brilliant for Kemper stuff, getting into HX stomp side of things so really interested to see what they bring out. Uh, this is based on the AC30 and it's got one of their free IRs on here as well, which is great. However, we need to make some changes because we need to get this send in here. And this send needs to be before the cabinet emulation because we don't want to send that to our real 212 physical cabinet. So we've got the amp, we've got an EQ, we've got the delay, we've got the verb, then we've got the send, then we've got the IR. So all of that is going to the main left and right outs, so that's going straight into my DAW or you could use it to the front of house desk. However at this point where the send is, it's getting split off and that's going into the Quilter Interblock 45 which means that we're getting all of the blocks before it but not the cabinet emulation which we don't want sent to the physical 212 cab. And that's it, nice and simple. You find this send here in just the send return section, nice and easy to find and that's the one you want here, the send L. Alright let's take a listen to this. That's it, thanks for watching, I hope that's been useful and interesting for some of you people out there. I love the fact that you can use something as small as the Quilter Interblock 45 which costs you know about £130 or something. And we can use this to power the HX Stomp through a traditional guitar cab. So if you love that sound on stage, that's what you can still get. But we can still send a signal front of house and we can still blend our signals as well. It's just fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Like, subscribe, comment. Be really interested to hear what you guys think. I'm going to do another video as well on putting stomp boxes through the HX as well. Because I think it takes pedals brilliantly well 
and I love doing that with the quilter into the two rock cab too. All right, take care. See you soon.